Hey everyone, I'm Ultima456, you're the Ultimates, welcome to episode 87 of Let's Platinum Final Fantasy VII Remake. Okay, so let's set things up a little bit differently. Differently, We want Lightning Elemental for Cloud, we want Lightning Elemental for Aerith, and we also want to get rid of Chakra and Prayer for right now, and instead put Lightning and MP Absorption on. Cool. And what this will do is it will allow us to get, regain our MP very, very quickly. Or quite a lot. All right, so th this is how it works. Go in here. No turning back. Hit him with Cloud a little bit. Don't overdo Switch over it. to Aerith. And then attack the Iron Sphere with Aerith's uh, wand. Just keep attacking, keep attacking. You notice that pressure gauge is going right up. Okay, so let's use Arcane Ward. Just, okay. Okay, she did hit me, but that's fine. I mean, he did hit me, but that's fine. I'm gonna use regular thunder, so watch her MP. So I just used thunder at 120 MP, and I basically got all of it back. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this a bit more. I will... let's do this again. You know what, let's switch to cloud. Where's the... Oh, you can only have one active at the same time, I didn't know that. Okay, that sucks, but that's fine. So watch this. So, Thunder, so she's on 121 MP. And now she's back on 121 MP. <laughs> and now she's back, oh, now she's on 123. This is the power of MP absorption with... With uh, being in the Arcane Ward. So let's have a little bit more fun, and let's try this. Thundaga. Boom. Boom. <laughs> that was max damage on the first one. Okay, I need to use regular thunder because that was too much. The The reason I think that doesn't work is because it does too much damage. Sorry, um, no, no, it costs too much MP. My, my mistake. It costs too much MP. One more stagger, one more stagger. Good. Oh, look, she's already maxed out her limit gauge, so... This will do 6,000 and then 3,000, so it should give, give me 9 back for a cost of 5. Perfect. That worked out really, really well. She got another Tilleric Scripture, so if I do this she should learn something. Hey, Materia Slot added. Fantastic, alright, let's give her something else. Uh, let's give her Prayer again, because she was working on that. We did finish Chakra. Wow, we finished both Chakras and we're up to Prayer. Okay, so now what we want to do is pick this up. Be careful. The guardian so they talk about it. Do not, do not return to the reporter. Do not, because we're gonna go complete weapons on a rampage. We're doing it all in, all in one go. Uh, except for paying respect, we will have to run to that one. But that one is uh, much closer, and you can't do it the other way because paying respects comes next after the one we're doing now, weapons on a rampage. All right, so that worked out pretty well for a chapter where you can't really spend. Oh, Cloud's got 100. Uh, we are not supposed to be spending too much MP. It worked out just fine. So let's keep going. For this next part, we want to actually have Aerith have the ability to use uh, the wind material, or Aero, because that's what the Mark, the Mono Drive Mark IIs are weak against. So let's go down here, go down here, go down here, and we've got them right there. So we're going to go into our menu, switch this out with Cloud for wind, same thing here, wind and the other wind, be careful to make sure you got the right one, go down, one, two, three, keep going, keep going, okay, so that one actually, you need to hit this one with wind instead, let's wait a second, so it stops moving around, I actually didn't know what it was doing. Okay, wind, cloud, can you... Perfect. I don't know, oh, I was like, I don't know what happened. I, th I think it died, and it did. <laughs> HP absorption went up, nice. I hate fighting this guy. Uh, yeah, nice. Okay, we did it. That's pretty quick, considering how annoying those guys are to fight. We are a little low on HP. Hey, look at that, Aerith's got her MP back. <laughs> it actually went higher. Yeah, we're a little low on HP, so I may choose to quickly heal in just a moment. You know what? Let's quickly do that now. 
healing. Reason being is if I can just do this, it should be sufficient. Damn, I was like, if I get a, a Marco shot, it'll be fine. Switch back to wind, go. Yeah, still doing pretty well. It's not like we're gonna run out or anything. Oh yeah, apparently, uh, no, so yeah, this one's weird. It says weakness here, but the gorges aren't weak to, oh wow, that was interesting. The gorges aren't actually weak to wind, but they're, apparently they're weak to magic. So if you use your intel check, it'll tell you that. Let me uh, save the game again as well. This fight sucks. I, I really do not like this fight. In fact, I would almost go so far as to say that it's better to switch to Aerith here and just have her attack everyone. Like that. Immediately go for Arcane Ward. Immediately go for... Oops. That is not what I meant to press. Go for Arrow on, let's say, this one. Switch to Cloud. Damn. Alright, well that one died. <laughs> I think. It's on you. I'm coming. Yeah, it died. The thing that sucks is both of these ones are immune to magic attacks right now. Oh, another thing you want to do is probably smash these. Hang on. Yeah, because if you can get the Marco shard there. Are they still weak to... Okay, good. The other one is weak to magic, so let's jump in here. It's definitely going to die, so just one to go. Hey. Triple Slash? Yeah, maybe Triple Slash is better, because it kind of like tracks the enemy. Cloud is a little on the weak side. One, two, three. Come on, man. Okay, done. So now, it'll tell you to return to the Scared Man, and you want to say yes to that. We can complete both, both quests at the same time. Alright, doing pretty well. It went even better on my practice. I like everyone got into the same area and it was just they all got killed. Almost feels what am I now hold on. Anyway, if you're ever in sure. Actually while you're there's this old guy who hangs out. Yeah, so he tells you about the old guy who has the paying respects quest. Completed that one. Wait a second. I have full MP. Heaps. And HP. And That's weird. All right. Wasn't planning. That's good. I commanded. Uh, maybe the Marco shard was enough to. Ah, oh, okay. No, Aerith's still quite far away. All right. So here's the old guy. It's the guy with the anniversary thing. We got the graveyard key. And before we do, wait. Let me think about this. You know what? Let's do it this way. I was gonna go hand in the Angel of the Slums, but I think it actually makes sense to hand it in after. Save more time. Run, 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 run. Yep, so now all we have to do is do paying respect. Now, this is very important, as I said in the last episode. Do not, whatever you do, do not hand in paying respect. You can... You can complete the quest, you can return to the old man uh, with the quick jump after you beat the quest, but do not hand it in. Just do not. I don't know if it affects it, but I know it has a chance to affect it, so yeah, don't do it. Alright, this one is interesting too. I'm gonna try it. Let's, let's try this because this will be fun. So ice and ice on everyone and then I'll swap out prayer for first strike. I want to see what happens here because this would be this is such an interesting fight if you do it right. If everyone can be together it's awesome. Okay, hop in. Go. Switch to Aerith. Fire once. Use Arcane Ward. And then Blizzaga on there. And then Cloud. Are you kidding me? They were nowhere near. Okay. Come on, come on, come on. Get in there. Nope. Go attack Cloud. Yes, perfect. Blizzaga on this guy. Come here, come here, come here. All of you. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> and one's dead. Uh, oh, I didn't have enough. How is... Wait, wait, wait. Stay right there. Let's just do a regular blizzard. Okay, dead. Done. Perfect fight. Really, really good. 
not perfect, but this good. <laughs> okay, so she runs over there. I think she asks Cloud if he wants to pray. He says no. We return to the old man. So what happened there? You might notice we got the we got the Telluric scriptures for Aerith. And now we can come back and talk to the old man, but we don't want to. Instead, we want to run straight up here. Should have gone left. No, I'll go left now. Go all the way up here. And then actually, I think technically you could hand in paying respects and leave the angel of the slums, but this one is better. This one gives you 2000 gil. I don't know what the other one gives you, to be honest. I can't remember. Looks like to the nosy. Let me see. I was planning to, but next time. Not Sorry about that. Here I was. Now, now. In any case, hey, um, everyone. It's about that. Don Corneo. Excuse me. So much for my... here. Oh, and I don't think it actually gives you much of anything. I don't know. We'll see. All right, and now we're pretty much done with chapter eight. I just got to beat Rude. Before we do, we have to set up our party. So we're gonna go wind again. It makes sense to do that one last then, if I can. Wind, wind, wind. Now, Rude is, uh, he's not difficult. He's like exactly the same as Reno. It's like, it's not a difficult fight. It's just, um, he's like awkward. So I'm gonna try my best to just do it properly or do it as best as I can. Charge in, counter. Let's get Aerith to use Arcane Ward. Okay, I don't like Sweet Dreams. It's very difficult to avoid this move. And when it happens, it's, yeah, it sucks. So we'll just do a double arrow. Oh, that was cool. Oh, get in there. Yes. Hiya. Uh, Phase two. Okay, that was not too bad. Had enough yet? No, I don't believe that I have. So, you had enough yet? No, I don't believe that I have. Charge in. Oops. Can't. It's my job. Then think about changing. No holding back. Interesting. I'm waiting. Come on. I'm coming. Cloud's pretty strong, isn't he? That's the way. Spinning axle kick. That is pretty damn hard to avoid. In fact, I don't even think you can. I should have blocked it. Come on. Oh. Please. Yes. Okay, I won. <laughs> All right, a bit of an awkward fight, but I won. Uh, okay, this cutscene is nothing important. He just has that um, funny moment where Reno calls him and his phone is like da 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 uh, And I guess last thing I'll just quickly do, it's not really important, but I'll do it because I like it better like that. Oh my god, go. Spells, Kiraga on Cloud. Wow, and he still has almost 100. And uh, we'll leave it on wind, go. All right, last thing. If you complete all the quests uh, here, you get another quest called the Language of Flowers. It's a discovery one called Language of Flowers. And basically what happens, I'm just gonna pause here. I'm gonna try to, try to read what I wrote down. I said, we won't be able to get the next scene, but if you complete all the side quests, you get a secret one called the Language of Flowers. It's that discovery thing, like, uh, like we got with Tifa in chapter three that said alone at last. The scene is shown, uh, if you if you care, it's um, the actual scene is on episode 28 at 9 minutes and 25 seconds. So if you want to have a look at the scene. And I wrote, the only thing I can glean from this scene is that Aerith has a special connection with the flowers. And it seems like the flowers are sort of the opposition to Sephiroth's feathers. So the black feather is a sort of a, um, a physical way of showing, or like, an Im like with imagery showing throughout the game, like this is, this is Sephiroth. It was even even in one of the very first trailers when the the remake got announced, like all the way in 2015 or 2016 or whatever it was. Um, and apparently, the flowers themselves are trying to warn everyone about him, as far as I can tell. Uh, Aerith then says, "There's uh, there's a final step that needs to be taken before they can say what they need to say. Otherwise, we won't hear them. So there's a final step that needs to be taken, and then she also says, "Otherwise, we won't hear them." That's quoting her. 
And then finally, Aerith becomes quite self-deprecating when she calls herself a quitter, but Cloud reassures her that this is not the case. She says she's been working hard today because it's special, but simply laughs at Cloud when he asks why it is, or yeah, why, why this is the case. So yeah, it's a very, very cryptic scene. I haven't really been able to understand exactly what's going on, but it's just more of the idea of like how Aerith seems to just know that things are going to happen before they happen. Uh, okay, let's go in here and get one more scene before we finish this You're chapter. So, yes, and then the game will say progressing past this point will prevent you from completing any active quests. Are you sure you wish to proceed? Yes, we did yeah, four. That's enough for one day. That's enough for one day. Where have you two been? Uh, I've been worried sick. Sorry, we got a little sidetracked. Dinner's ready, in case you're wondering. Ah, great. But before we sit down, I want you to make up the guest room. Gotcha. Take a load off, okay? So just quickly before we continue, this one is not as important, but the scene that occurs immediately after this, after this is important, and I think it relates heavily to this scene as well, so I'll, I'll explain that when we get there. Judging by those eyes, I'm guessing you're a soldier. Ex-soldier. I hate to ask, but would you leave tonight without any fuss, no questions? You boys made a trade, a normal life, for power. You can't have it both ways. I'm back! Good! Now, I hope you're hungry. Starving, right? I'm sorry, I don't know what making up the guest room means, but there is no way she could have done that that quick. <laughs> Alright, here we go. So immediately after this scene, we actually get another scene of Cloud as... I mean, it's hard to tell, but I guess he looks a bit younger. It's, yeah, difficult. And he's also in a slightly different Shinra outfit, and this is what's really strange to me. He is in a soldier uniform, and we're going to meet his mother, Claudia. But Cloud was never in Soldier, so I think this is a uh, not a fake memory, but like a confused memory. I think he was actually thinking of, like that this was how his home life was, but it wasn't actually. I'm not 100% sure because this scene is in the original game, and uh, it's a it's a bit different. I think so. Let's see. I've never been so proud. The man you've become. Women must be hounding you day and night. Not really. You know, there's all kinds of temptations in the big city. I'd feel a lot better if I knew you'd found a good girl. One who'd make sure you didn't get into trouble. Man, his mother is so perfectly designed. She's so beautiful. An older, more mature girl. I could keep you on the straight and narrow. And tell you when you're being a silly goose. <laughs> That's the perfect type for you, I'd say. Yeah, I don't know. I, I feel like the reason that scene happens is because he just had an interaction with, with Elmira. And so he's remembering his own mother and, you know, or trying to remember his own mother and what happened. But I, I genuinely think that that's a confused memory. Because when would that have taken place, you know? Don't want to overstay my welcome. The, the regular Shinra outfit for soldiers is different to the stuff that he's wearing right now. So, yeah, it's odd. Okay. So now we have to get out of here. We're almost on with chapter eight. This has actually turned out rather well. You're leaving. So how do I get this? It's simple. Okay. It so exactly she asks you to go. You got it. Thank you. And you go. And that's all there is to it. That's all she wrote. All right. One final scene. We just have to get into the transition between chapter eight and chapter nine, and we'll see the scene. That uh, material over there is an MP up material. Don't worry about it. I should have mentioned it before, but yeah, it's not important. Go, 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 go. All right, so this is where I've practiced up to, so now I need to continue practicing. It's one, it's almost one, one o'clock on the Sunday, so hopefully I can at least eke out two more episodes. Oh, I forgot to, I didn't um, talk to this lady, the house mother, when I left normal mode, but she actually has a few things to say. Let's listen to it. If it isn't the new florist, I appreciate you helping the kids out today. Thank you. They won't stop talking about the soldier who saved the day. Oh, and make sure to give my thanks to Aerith, too. Sure. And then she says... I heard you're not a florist at all. That you're actually a mercenary? 
Don't push yourself too hard. I heard you're not a okay, that's all she says. So, yeah, just a little bit of extra dialogue. Sorry, I forgot to talk to her during normal mode, but it's all right. She pretty much, she says exactly the same thing. All right, and here is another really, really important scene that I'm really happy that I, I think I've got this one, like, nailed. I think I nailed this one on the head. Here we go. about a coincidence so another thing she she knows that cloud tries to leave because she's been through this before although i think in the original game she also figured it out so maybe in the original game she had used intuition here she just knew <laughs> what are you doing here waiting why because i'm not sick of you yet <laughs> Lead on then. Chapter nine. With pleasure. Here we go. All right, watch what happens. He's looking at Aerith as she's walking away. He gets a vision, and if you're listening carefully, you hear very specific music, and he cries a single tear. Cloud. Is something wrong? It's nothing. Okay, and so I will point that one out. I am like 99% sure that the reason he's crying there uh, is all to do with Aerith's death. He somehow has a vision of Aerith's death, and we know he's crying about Aerith because the music changes to... I don't know if it's Aerith's theme specifically. I think it's actually the Final Fantasy VII main theme. And if you're still doubtful, go back to the very beginning of the game, look at the part of the opening cutscene where this, uh, the scene transitions into the sky and you see stars and, and like the night sky and the stars. And then from that point, it transitions downward to Aerith who is knelt at the the pipes where the Marco is coming out. And as that transition is happening, that's exactly the music that plays uh, that the one that just played now is exactly the music that plays there. So it's heavily hinting. It's like, look, this is this music is to do with Aerith, and er and he looked at Aerith walking away as you know, like more metaphorical explanation of like she's walking away from his life, she's leaving, um, she died, and he he actually like cried a single tear. So I think that one, like I'm pretty confident on that one. All right, cool. Completed chapter eight on hard difficulty. And we will start chapter nine next time. For now, I want to thank you all for watching episode 86 of Let's Play Final Fantasy VII Remake. My name is Ultima456. You're the Ultimates. And I'll see you next time.